eche chakule sechili kumutima guo mchimugambe wano tetuwa zikulaba angoye zinekaneka wano tetuwa zikulaba bantu tuwa zikusinka na njini vyo na tuwa zikusinka na ya tuobla tuwa zikusinka na oyo atulina kovu yinza mukama tuwa ni keme kono jafejoli kusuka kwa vyo na tukweba za kubango tuisiza mwike nkade Utukomeza wonga tulivalamu Echitiwa netendo vikudire Mukama tetusobola kuja masogo ni tudayonga wetuze Tuze tulinevi tumenye Tuze tulinevi tuze towerede Tuze tulinevi buzo Kama tuzo kufune chokudamu Umasogo ayomoyo mtukuvu Waliwe chokudamu chafe Tukusaba osika ne miti majafe Tuwa njale miti majafe joli Mukama tukuse, muli nyari ya Yesu wabazenga bayonta. Mukama tuwe, echo kunywa. Muli nyari ya Yesu Christo mwana wakatonda. Yogere chigambe chigendo kutuonya. Yogere chigambe chigendo kutuisane muwike no jetutandika. Muli nyari ya Yesu savi singa wege na maso. Ukusinza, ukutendeleza, echigambo special. Tukusaba mukama yogere na emiti majafe. Kuluwe chiti wacho, kuluwe rinyari ya amanyi. Kama service yo natu jitade mekono jo Mkristo Yesu matisavide no kwe baza Engaleza manji ziba za Yesu Eza mkama bazi kubira waguru Waguru wa mtuwego Kwa kubira engalo za katonda Zikuwe ngote deke vigambe vyo kwe baza Zikuwe ngote deke vigambe vyo mwe chitiwa Hallelujah Hallelujah Kuba kuba kuengalo, Hallelujah. Zawe ya kutende lizamu kama, gamba neiba zawe ya kutende lizamu kama. Jaga tu somo ni yoro ukuba kumi na nyaku mi na sathi. Just na cheka tuno nye gamati Musa, tu somere wam, Musa na ba gamba. Teresa is big good driving. Musa na ba gamba abantu unti temutia. Mwini mire, mwini miriz. Mudi oke mo na ba bulunjo, obroko zibo amukama. Bwana ba kuli dalero. Kuwanga ba ba misiri be mula fire. Ba misiri be mula mula vie. Mula vie. Mwisake de. Kuwanga ba misiri be mula vie dalero. Hallelujah. Kapati ya kasemba yo kuminanya ke singo kwa gana Yonge na yo maso katonu Kuminanya, kuminanya, kuminasatu, kuminanya Uyonge na yo maso, alimbi yo mario Kako kagamba, mukama anawa ruanirida Namwe, muna sirika Gamba neba oja kusirika Tendeleza mukama okorechi Tugeende maso Kuba munga na muti O sani da yesu Bote mwa suwa nikini na mwakama Hallelujah Tambula na yesu nga siti ya mulave yena Tambula na yesu nga siti ya mulave yena Tambula na dadinga sitia binomba biona. Tambula na yasunga sitia binomba biona. Katutiki ni na moja sa wali. Sina masina. Hey, we bali we bali. Hey, 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 hey. Zin tambula na yasunga sitia mula be yena. Amalo wosika ulida Tambula na yesu nga siti ya mulave Yena Mwabobu jambi ya mujimanye Tambula na yesu nga siti ya mulave Yena Ame Yabange Tambula na yesu nga siti ya mulave Yena Akadali kansambe Kandikide Tambula na yesu nga siti ya mulave Yena 
Wade toni na fizi nywele la ku Yesu Otambula na ye Otambula na Yesu kasi tambula Kuba Zimwa gala nyoku wanga Yanwa nile ntalo Wangala nyoku wanga Chitegezi Zimwa gala kamala kubanga Yanwa nile ntalo zange Zimwa gala kamala kubanga Yanwa nile ntalo zange Kole chiko lecho kwa gala Hey Wevale Digida Say Say Chik 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 Jesus Say 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 Chik 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 Jesus Say 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 Atambula nange mumazi nesipira Tukende Ameka na nebyo Ebine chikamu Atambula nange mumazi nesipira Hey Januani retaro sange Januani retaro Hey Januani retaro sange Januani retaro Januani retaro sange Jakulembera nengo berera Jakani retalo Jakani retalo sange Jakani retalo Yesu nga leta Jakani retalo Yesu nga leta Ochitegede Jakani retalo Yesu nga leta Boyagala visa Yesu nga jireta Oya gala muami Yesu nga leta Oya gala mchiala Yesu nga leta Nga leta Nga leta Sama 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 Katoli na mchiala Yesu ya leta Nga leta Onali na mchiala Wait, buddy, wait, buddy, wait, buddy, wait, buddy. 
Kana nebyo Ebi nechi kamu Atambula nange Mumazi nesipira Ame kana nebyo Ebi nechi kamu Atambula nange Mumazi nesipira Ame kana nebyo Ebi nechi kamu Atambula nange Mumazi nesipira Hallelujah Ebi nechi kamu Atambula nange Mumazi nesipira Ya mse nebo zilio Ameka na nebio Ebine chikamu Atambula nange Mumazi nesipira Hallelujah Ya mse niko no jomus gambe Hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. hallelujah. We have come to worship his holy name. Chino chetu gendo kola angatutu se mungulu cha kusinza businza. We join the angels as we sing hallelujah. Bamalaika mungulu bagamba hallelujah Hallelujah Nafe wanotunga ambanti hallelujah 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 Yimusu semikono joka benti hallelujah Mwana kwendika Hallelujah Chitiwa chama wanga Hallelujah Hallelujah Nimozi pini kwe Ameni wo, ameni wo, ameni wo, ameni wo. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Nimosi pini gwe, anazi alleluia, anazi alleluia. Jehovah, ameni wo. Ameliwo, nimo si pini gwe, anazi alleluia, anazi alleluia, Jehovah. Kuba malaika tugambeti Malaika mungulu Baiba alleluia Yimuse mikono jeje Mungu kwenyo mwana kwenye Ya kuwa muanguzi Wama Yimuse mikono jomo gambeti
Hosanna in the highest. The angels are singing. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. The angels are singing. Hosanna. Hosanna. Semi gono gabento sana, sezo sana, o 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 Tendo Katondo Mulam, Bamalaika Bavunama, 
Abakati abiri mu wana abavunama. Engulo zawe bazitweka kutaka. Gabaga mbancho sanide. We yali gwali era gwali bera. Ebagambo sali dokubembule chitabo. Kubanga wafa no zukira no kulira katonda wafe. Ekuli mu buli gwanga mu buli rulini mu buli chika. Abantu ai mukama. Na fetu tuva tujja masoko etu tyoluru walero. Katuka mantyo sani de. Na fetu kata kudeboze lya ba malaika. Katuka mantyo sani de chitibwa. Katuka mantyo sani da matendo. Katuka mantyo sani de kugulumizwa. Katuka mantyo sani de kutendebwa. Gwe katonda atachuka. Gwe katonda omwesigwa. Gwe katonda asubiza tendo otukiriza. Gwe katonda tali mwana wa mtu kulimba wado kwejusa. Ugambi oyo gende lokola tolikola Oituko kuzaza no tazaza Tukwebaza kubanga otoli mwana wamu tukulimba Tukwebaza kubanga olika tondo mwesigua Tukwebaza kubanga olika tondo wamanyi Tukwebaza kubanga olika tondo wabu yiza Tukwebaza kubanga olika tondo wechitiwa Tukwebaza kubanga olina amanyi okulokola Tewali no maso wala kunduka munga lozo Mukama tukuwe chitiwa Mukama tukuwa matendo you are good forever, Lord. Oli katondo mulunji, otwa gade no kwa galo kutali koma. Tu gamba tuale chitiwa chona, tu gamba tuala matendo gona. Kata tuale chitiwa, tuala matendo gona mukama. Osani te katonda wafu. Mukama tu kuwe chitiwa, tu kugolomiza, kumango lika tondo moloji. Tata tu kuwe ba zolo worship team, tu kuwe ba zolo kuba kuzo sovulu njivuotyo, tu kuwe ba zolo amafita goba wade, tu kuwe ba zolo bukumi no bugabirizi, tu onge ba onge masogo tata. Oyongere bako so kuweleza no kusinga o. Oba wo mukiso gwo moyo no gwo mubiri. Muri nyali amukamwa fe Yesu Kristo. Abe mikwa no mukama batuwele omukisa. Mwe bale tukola bulunji. Amina. Amen. Mukamwa fe yebazibwe. Amina. Amen. Tubaniriza nyu mukubera okwa mukama. I'm in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Take one minute to welcome someone in the house of the Lord. Give the best smile to welcome someone in the presence of the Lord. Give a smile to welcome someone in the presence of the Lord. Even when he has debts and someone demands him, even when he's sick, tell him what he's sick. Tell him what he's sick. Tell him what he's sick. Place. Amen. Friends, welcome you greatly. I will request to clap hands for yourself for deciding very well today. You've done it very well. This is UCC Kasubi. The headquarter of UCC churches in the whole world. We are the head of Joseph Luwama Selumaga. Pastored by Bishop Luwama Selumaga Joseph. And Mami. Awakolagana awamu na abaweleza ba mukama. Co-working with other ministers of God. Saba tukupe ngalonga tu si makatondo lo abaweleza ba tu wade mchipo chino. Yes, we clap hands and will come the ministers of God has given. Abaweleza ba mukama tu wa agalanyo. Ministers of God, we love you greatly. Tu wasamwe chitiwa. We honor you. Mukama ba tu wero mukisa. May the Lord bless you. Jaga lo kwa nili zaba ganda ba fe abali kuchukumu musamba katonye zo tano. I went to welcome our brothers on 175. Eze ngalo zo tu kubaza nili zaba li kumpe wone ku inamani FM. We are clapping welcoming people on Inner Man FM. Welcome you greatly. Thank you for being part of this service on the this ministry. You will be blessed as as we are here. Amen. 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 I request to welcome our visitors. If you know you are visiting, you decided to come and fellowship with us. I want to see your hand. Wow! 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 
We thank God for our visitors. We love your visitors. Thank you for deciding to come and worship with us. May the Lord bless you greatly. If you don't have a chance, when you are seated, please, it is your seat. Decide and come and be with us. And the Lord shall bless you. If you have a church where you came from, when you go back, please take a request. Tell them we love them in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. We have a few announcements made. We have a few announcements made. I request paper, pen, or a book. Or a book. Or a book. So that you note a few things. And the Lord shall bless you. Amen. Amen. On 18th of next month, we have a lot of things. I think we know what will take place. Can I see people? It will be a great day. It will be an honorable day. Of the years of UCC, we have four activities. To go. Our bishop shall be inaugurated officially. To go. We shall be thanking God. And we shall be thanking God. And we shall eat together as a church. And we shall eat together as a church. I request you prepare for it. Amen. Amen. Physically and spiritually. And on 26th up to 31st of December. Conference Conference of Yakinaman. Our inner man conference that takes place every year shall begin on 26th. Those who clap, thank you so much. It helps us to end the year as we prepare to join the new year. Those who shall reside here shall pay 40,000 shillings. And the non residents shall pay 20,000 shillings. And all the children, whether residents or non-residents, will pay thirty thousand shillings. And that, that payment shall be for the whole week, day and night. And the Lord will bless you. See, it is just for helping us plan. Praise the Lord. And if you are still young, and if you are still young, and if you are still young, Upon us who are still youth, we are reminded that every Tuesday, from 10 p.m. up to 3 a.m., we have our overnight here. We ask the youth. We have our prayer altar. Please, the youth, come and we seek the Lord. We seek Him as we can still find Him. Who knows what will happen when you have old age? And on Saturday still, from five up to seven, we always have our prayer altar as the youth. If you look at someone who's still strong, tell him or her. We are talking to you, Amen. And we are reminded that we got another basket. God wants to bless us more. As we give money to support the evangelists. The people who evangelize in the hospital. Those in schools. Those of those. Those who preach on the street. Wherever they go, there is always need. Of the tangible things. So there is a basket which they have given to us. To help in that ministry. So for the time, the time of giving, you'll see the basket labeled evangelism basket. Praise the Lord. And on the Friday of this week, it will be 27. From a half past five, we shall have the minister's training. If you want to minister to the Lord, please come and join it. One time go 
God say? Because you refuse to know. I've also refused you to be. So God wants to use people who know. Come here on Friday and be trained. And on Sunday of this very week, it will be the last Sunday in this month. Shall have a very good evening worship. Those who have been in it know what takes place. We get enough time to go deep into worship. And the presence of the Lord descends. Under this time, I want to welcome parents to Enoch Azaire. Bring him. Him here, so that we dedicate him before God. Praise the Lord. On 9th of December, the women in Proverbs 31, and the Apostles Stephen Foundation, and of the Asaph, they were the first ones to celebrate Christmas. Christmas party for children. They have planned a Christmas party for children. Amen. Amen. It will be in OO at Old Kampala Grounds. And entrance shall be 10,000 shillings. It shall begin at 9 in the morning up to 5 in the evening. We we'll let the child and then we we'll tell you more. Abalungiya Katugenda kusabiro mano no, tugenda muonga yo, njia kusabo gololo mukono go, tuverenga tu musabira yani. Tugenda kusabira zaidi we mukono jia mukama tu mwe yo, tu mulangiri de kumkisa. Chita fatura kuna murondo tu agalo kwe bazure vira vivi abana viotoa, ngabo cha wandi kwa mchea mateke sule ya vivi mna ana, ogami entaba na vivi vira vivi feri katonda. Katonda wa Yakobo, Katonda wa Israeli. Ni musoma na na teriwe mukamange mikono jo. Ngamwa ura kubiri mioye mivi. Ejiza jikubere raba na ba fe. E mioye jirondo la mawanga neni mi. E mioye jife bokodja. E mioye jife wabu wechitawe. Amani ga mawanga aguakola gona gajaga gorondo ra. Ngakuma komu dironga kuamburura. Eran kurangiri ra kokuiri ra mupsa za Katonda. Nkura gula koko bero msa jaluere zamu kama nkusabira amagezi no kuganja era nkusabide ntoli somera masomera gebei mukama agenda kuwa mukisaba za debo oliba msajja wa amanyi oliwereza mukama muri nyeri ya Yesu wente kwensabye amina nyabo to yanzi za nyo thank you mukama yebazwe may praise the lord ku glory of christ church at glory of Christ Church. Ye can say what Kawara wa Guru. It's a church up at Kawara. Aba Holy Gate Square na Webava. Holy Gate Square, that's where they come from. But I guess you chief for a choco sinza. They have prepared a worship. Chigana Kutalika Sawam Savu. Shall begin at one or while today. Bobo Funyaka de Yambo Kayom Kama Jaku Moksa. If you get time of go there, the Lord shall bless you. Atiba member will never family have a hope, our family are hope. And all the members of Hope family, you requested to go up to the canteen after the service. Praise the Lord. On 10th of November, the church has given us another opportunity to pray. We shall have another prayer like it was in Acts of Apostles chapter 12. Four hours without ceasing. Day and night. 
chapter 3 verse 14 draw water before you are besieged praise the Lord Amen we thank God still but in this church they are married and they get married so the people I'm going to read God has helped them. They will be married and they are going to marry. I'm brethren in Mawanda Elvis. And Viola. Mr. Nsubuga Henry. Mr. Nsubuga Henry. And Sister Nacheyune. They are prepared to the meetings after this very service. Let's can support them in kind and in advice. Amen. Ata Papa Victor. And Papa Victor. Ne Mama Pamela. And Mama Pamela. Bagina yo lunch e ya meeting za we stay at the embaga. They have their lunch for the preparatory meetings. Olwa lele sawa 10. Today at 4. Bagenda kubera ku Grand Global Hotel. They'll be at Grand Global Hotel. Ate engineer Brian and engineer Brian. Ne sister Gloria. And sister Gloria. Na wo batwa lele za ku Emerald Hotel olwa lele sawa 10. Inviting us to that Emerald Hotel at 4. Bami tugende tu ba wagire. Let's go there and support them. Ne mukama jatu wa nyo mukisa. The Lord shall bless us greatly. Amina. Amen. Tu ingira mukasera akalala. We're joining another moment. Ke kasera ko buwerezo kuita mu nyimba. A moment through songs. Saba tu alize sister Fiona. Let's welcome Sister Fiona. I just wear the Moro Yimba Rumu. To minister to us in one song. When Abba Mazok wears that, when she's done, to Jacqui Mira Kubegele Jafena Karuru Nengalo. She stand on her feet with a shout, with a hand clap. To Anizo Ya Jamuri Nyali Amukama. I'm the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Mwe bale kutuuli risa. Thank you for listening to us. Mbade Vincent Damuliane. And I've been Amin Echulian. Amina. Muni Miro Service. Mukama Eva Zwe. Malam Sisa Mulinaria, yes, so many and it was Fiona Simeta Fiona Simoro. Come on, Evans. Never some come up, a rock and pomp, sanate, or come out, okay, waka. Come on, Evans, we are never than you are somber and gave away as our Nasai Jeno, or Kumpangom Sokomanga, okay, waka. Ah, Gasnava Kuimba, take a say yo. Album launch, it was Omoyake, uh, Maole Christian Fellowship. Walu uh, wampabu demu ntizili services, echi, echi for Maole teba chimanyi, oba chiri kurugudo chi. Na ye chiri kugaya za road, kasanga tikoche chikubo cha, cha besije, ba chituma chikubo cha besije. Botu uka onobu za Maole Christian Fellowship, baku tulete ya dala paka kuchia chicha chia kalina, ili kukubo. Uh, Kalina na inga tena guwa blonji uh, Ntege seyo launch kusande eno Itanika kweno wiki uh, Oku ingi na mutualo Mutuale vidi VIP mutuale itano VIP mutualo kumi Mukama wa omu kisa Nga muji oku mpagida uh, Olimba luga mati omoyake Mukama wa omu kisa. Mukutonda kwensi moyo wali wo Hesu ya linjenele nga yata ude tabude Wengo mamide oh, Kungulu kumazi Bulichimu nechida munteko Echisikisa nchie ya ula nechitangara Ama sinege ya ula kulukalu Bulichitonde nechikolewa Nechitolewa moyo mamide Moyo wabena
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I request that we sit for a certain announcement. And thereafter, I will invite they that come in the name of the Lord. We have a couple to be. I'm going to request Mr. Nsubuga Henry Mwanguzi as to pay at J to get up and bring for us Miss Sisinacheyune.
Samuel Rogina Jerry Genzi. But joy is pointing to something. But I request that a couple is in the middle. And let's give them this microphone. Face ever. A Let us stretch our hands and pray a blessing upon you. Father, in the name of Christ Jesus, we thank you for Henry and Sissy and the grace you've given them. We introduce them in your eyes as we pray a blessing for them that your hand be with them. Lead them in their functions and in their marriage as well. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you even the ones that have escorted them here. I see a big team of ushers. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray that God increases the weddings. If every Sunday we have Wednesday Wednesday and all the singles said and now that we are moving into the new church I request us with humility that we get up on our feet as we prepare to welcome here that comes in the name of the Lord the one we are going to invite a church program, our faith. is our church programmer. Um, Sajam Somesa by profession. He is a teacher by profession. Goverira Bulin Songa Zonoge no Kurabane Chironga postings every two. He follows up every other issue, even in the night he posts. He is a very detailed person. We appreciate God for having him on the pastoral council. Church, God gave us a very good pastoral team. It is skilled in various ways. 
It can run the various issues. And I'm so glad to have such a team. Join me together with a lot of joy and let's invite Pastor Karugaba Edward to come and give us the word of the Lord. Olu telo ngalo wete tuli embele ye tuli embele minsikiri za tuli embele engule olu telo wete tuli embele ye moyelo sale chidemo.
Father, we pray. 
that you help each and every one of us here and even the ones online and the ones over the radio it is my prayer on behalf of the many that you help us cross over that you help us overcome may you give grace unto the weak that they will be dressed with strength Lord. give grace unto they that are about to give and raise them in your strength Lord. help us overcome as a kingdom help us overcome as a congregation that we shall see ourselves cross over do it Lord take all the glory and the honor we boast in you. We love you so much. We thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Worship team, thank you so much. May God bless you. You may take your seat. I will come here in the name of Christ Jesus our Lord. I honor the presence of my elder, the bishop. Uh, Thank you so much, sir, for pastoring me. Mm, May God help me to follow through. Ja, and I will follow through. Mama Sarah, mukama, Mama Sarah, God bless you. The pastors and the ministers of the Lord, God bless you. And the saints of the Lord, thank you so much for coming. May God bless you. Say Amen. Revelation 11:15. As we follow up this issue of the heavenly rewards. At some point I talked about uh, the heavenly crowns. Uh, definitely I felt it wise to release the whole package which is the heavenly rewards because heavenly crowns are, are some of the rewards. So when I just bring crowns, then I'm leaving out several other rewards. It's fine, I cannot handle everything now, but it can also always continue in series. But I just feel uh, inspired really to reverse the heavenly rewards that we should expect when we get there. Uh, Revelation 11 from verse um, 18. Now, I may target a particular verses because of time. But now here, if I was to read, I would really begin from verse 15. But in, the, in verse 18, the Bible talks about the time of judgment and then the time of rewards. There is an appointed time of judgment. Thereafter after the judgment. It's the very time of giving rewards. To all overcomers. Let our reader read verse 18. No busungu bo ne bucha ne ntu kezo kusalira mu musango gwabafu ne zo kuwera mu empera yaabwe abaddubo banabbi nabatukirivu nabatirinyalyo abato nabakuru ne zo kuwera mu abonoonensi God bless you as, as you look for revelation 22:12 Nabonoonya kubikulirwa abiri mu bibiri Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes we preach to inspire our souls. Other times we preach to dispense knowledge. Of course, sometimes uh, uh, a message of knowledge may not be exciting as the message of inspiration. At the end of it all, you need the knowledge. For people perish for lack of knowledge. I bless the Lord, He has put 
most of the things we need to know about the kingdom here. It would be very unfortunate to always be shocked over things you should have known even before getting there. That means there was a problem somewhere. You should know all the mysteries in the word. For those not revealed to us, it is fine, we shall find them there. For those not revealed yet to us, we shall find them there. No but whatever is revealed here, you should know them. Deuteronomy 29 29. Deuteronomy 29 29. Reveals that there are things revealed unto us, and there are those that will not be revealed unto us anyway. Now, those revealed to us, they are revealed for a reason that we may do them not only us but also our children but again there are those which are not revealed to us be it far from us to get to heaven and you get shocked over things you should have known much earlier and I hope that cannot cause a crisis in terms of preparation so they are telling us um, there is time for the dead to appear at the judgment seat and then thereafter after, after the judgment we have the giving away of rewards I know it has disturbed a few Christians why should we a person who has been raptured, who is holy, again appear at the judgment seat. But why should the person One of the reasons is entirely to your benefit. To receive the rewards. Now, 22 verse 12 of, of uh, Revelation, uh, they will show us that the rewards are entirely based on your work. The work you've done well in this fresh. Later I read a read. Yep. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, so he's going to reward everyone according to his work. Mm, according to his work. Now that right away brings a question to my mind. Should I assume everyone who will be in eternity will, will qualify for a reward? Now, since it is based on the work, then the answer is no. Not all people who have gone to heaven have been given a chance to work. Um, Luke 23, from verse 39 to 42. You remember the two gentlemen who were with Jesus Christ at the cross. Definitely one of them was lucky, the luckiest. He took salvation. Just by requesting him, please remember me. Unfortunately, he never had time to come back and do something. There was no chance of doing what is called Work. Just read that. Mm. Mm. Is that Omu kwabo, haba uh -huh. kolomubi, haba wanikibwa, na mvuma, nga gamba anti, mm. sigwe kristo. Wero kore, na foto lo kore. Mm -hmm. Na ye, owoku bidi na damo na amonenya, na gamba anti, no kutia toti ya katonda, kubanga oli, kuchibwa nerezo, chechimu na ye, mm. era fe, tuwa langibu ansonga, kubanga, ebisani de, bietuwa kora, Na yono, takolanga chigambo, echita sana. 
Nagamba anti Yesu onjiju kiranga boli jira mubwa kabwa kabwo. Mm. Yesu na mugamba anti mazima kugamba anti lero onoba nange mulusukuru wakatonda. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. So it is clear in that verse 42 well this man got salvation. But be honest, he had not done anything during the salvation period. He never had an opportunity to do something for the Lord. By the way, uh, I don't know if you have a man who has a I think he didn't even know there is something called working for the Lord while on earth. Uh, I've worked for certain organizations. And one of them. I'm a teacher profession. And in this organization, at the end of the year, they would appreciate the students that have done well. There was an award ceremony to reward all the good students. Exactly. And I was the one organizing the function. As the one organizing the rewards, and I would give them good rewards. Gifts like iPads. Gifts like a watch that has internet. Good gifts. And sometimes I'll prepare gifts. Together with my team. And you would know the award ceremony is tomorrow or the next week. And you surely know who is going to get what, but the receivers do not know yet. But either organizer, I would see the people pass by and I would know that is the owner of the watch. And, and when I would see you, I would say, ah, this is the one going to receive the iPad. But I wouldn't tell you. But you wouldn't know then. A time comes, towards the time of giving the rewards, you've invited certain guests from outside. And then we ask ourselves, what if the one receiving the iPad didn't attend school today? IPad? The iPad? The owner has not come. No, you stand and read. And we encourage ourselves, let us tell someone. Especially the ones that will get the big gift. <laughs> so that they don't miss out on that day. What I want here is that either organizer I know, but the other person on the other end does not know. Jesus tried. We are going to see. He tried to tell us, I have organized rewards for you. Of course, we are going to see, which is very okay. I really buy it. Yokana kuminanya, we are going to take a take before. We surely love John 14, where he went to prepare for us a place. That's pretty fine. That's very fine. Echo chironji nyo, era chiri okay. And he tells us, I'm going to prepare a place for you, and I'll come back for you. Now, when he is coming back, He's not coming back with the places. We find the places there. But he's coming back with the rewards. As we look forward to the place, let us also think about what he's going to come back with. The rewards. The ones that have come following the different preachings. Immediately after the rapture, in those seven years, the church will be shown before the judgment seat. The judgment of the church is not at the same time as those that don't know God. They that don't know God are going to have their judgment at the end of the thousand years. And the church is getting its judgment in this period of seven years. So, 
So after the judgment, the reward is going to shall go to this wedding. We ought to know all this and remind each other so that we are encouraged and we overcome all the situations. So the man was at the cross. He didn't get that, the opportunity to work. Of course, thank God he got the salvation. This is one of the people that will have no reward. They didn't get the chance or opportunity to work. And this includes they that at their deathbed, you go to the hospital and pray for this person. And having confessed salvation like this, they go. They go back. They have gone to heaven. Their soul and spirit has been saved. But they have no basis unto which they will get the reward. Of course, yes, it is a good thing. Because they have not gone to hell. But I that has gotten the chance. And I do not die at the time of getting saved. I would have thought about an issue of getting the reward. And to also know how do I not miss out? Because you can as well miss out. So the first category that will have no reward. They that have died immediately after salvation. The second category. They that will not qualify for the reward. Are the people that work. But they did the wrong work. Paul talks about they that continue on the foundation of the doctrine that he started. First Corinthians 3, 13-15. There are people that if we are talking about building, yes, they did build. Of course, he even talks about this foundation being Christ. Because Paul came talking about the Christ of the Lord. Christ has his truth. But you could also come and preach what is not his truth. So he looked at the work of preaching the truth of Christ and compared it with constructing a building. And he said, I have given you Christ. I've given you the living gospel of Jesus so that it is like a foundation of a house. And I know I'll not have the ability or opportunity to build it to the end, but I'll do what I am able to and I'll go back. Just like our elder bishop Stephen Senfuma left. You cannot construct the whole building. But he said, I have left you. I have given you the foundation. But I'm warning you. Be keen about what you are building the foundation. Because the work of everyone is going to be passed through the fire. My work will be passed through the fire. And likewise, your work will be passed through the fire. And the work that is at the level of the buildings, they that are at the level of roofing, they that are at the level of finishing, this was a figure of speech. So, whatever you have done, everyone will have their reward. And he wonders that at that time, on the day of judgment, there are those that are going to miss out that the work that they build is compared to rubbish, is compared to trees. And what is going to test this work? He uses a metaphor of fire. So, fire cannot live around the rubbish. 
He uses words to help us understand. And he says, I may not be around as you be. Yes, construct, go ahead. But on that day, the fire will show he that deserves a reward. Some will lose out all they have worked for. And when others, their work is gone through the fire, they'll get their reward. But he said they that are going to miss out, there is a chance for them to be saved. That is the second issue. There is a kind of people that are going to cross over but they will have no reward. The reward has gone through the fire and disappeared. Mm. They have escaped, but they have gotten no reward. Now, not because they didn't have a chance to work, but their work has not survived the fire. The Bible shows this in the spirit. There is a, a sieve in the spiritual world. A sieve. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And one of the saves is your intentions as you do whatever you're doing. You can do whatever you're doing. And others give you a tick. The master really emphasizes on your intentions. Matthew chapter 6. He talks about three categories. The ones that and show others that they really seek the Lord. They want to show that they really love the Lord. And he tells them, friends, if you fast and talk about yourself and people praise you, take it that you've gotten your reward here on earth. It is this of people praising you. I ask myself, why did Jesus take time teaching these things? He knows there are people that are going to be shocked. When someone is on the line, because I'm going to show you the crowns, the walu, categories. Walu e bibinja, e be there is a category for the evangelists, e a category obya, obya of the prayer warriors. Mwe, e the ones that were seeking the Lord kwa and praying. Time ya so if it is a time for the evangelists, let's say Musimbe line. you have made a line. And the first one is given their reward. And the second one, they tell them, You already received your reward. You got your reward on earth. That organization I told you about where I would give rewards, I would get students that would come to my office at the end of the function and someone asks you why didn't I get a gift? How come I didn't get a gift? In that situation you have to calm down and you remind them or even show them the criteria that you follow to give out the gifts. And then you show them where the back cut. You missed by just one point to get the first gift. And another one comes and asks you, why did so and so get and I didn't get? I was better than them here. I was better than them here. Why are they getting the gifts and I do not get? And you also 
tell this person and explain to when them. Chitufu, it is true you were better here. Gata gata chune 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 chino, but having, co having considered it all, his points are above your points. Why I'm giving this example, Omwana are shocked at the time of giving their words. A student is shocked at the time of giving they their words. Words. They are thinking about themselves having done all it took to get the the And now they are shocked why they have no gift. Matthew chapter 6 we are shown that there are people whose reward has already been gotten but they will also be seen in this line of getting the rewards yet they already got their rewards they don't know that situation of wanting to be praised wanting others to speak about you that is one of the reasons some people will not qualify for a reward Matthew chapter 6, read verse 1 and 2. He talks about the people that are diligent. You give, you give the ones that I need. But the problem, your heart wants others to know what you have done. Era, babalabe, kubanga bwe muna kola nga bwe mutio, temu bwe bwe nga ampera, ili chita mwari munguru. Bwe mukola bwe mutio, babalabe, temu bwe bwe ampera. If you do like that to be seen, you will not get a reward from your father in heaven. Gena maso? Kali, buoga bila nga abavu, tewefu yiranga ngombe, mumaso gabo, ngaba na mfusi bwe bakola, mkunga niro, ne mungudo, Abantu baba we echitiwa. Mm. Mazima mbaga mbanti. Assured I tell you, aha. Uh -huh. Bama zoku we mpira. Bama zofu na. Koma. Eliyawa antu ni utogira kakano. There are people even as we speak of now that some of the things you have done you already received your reward. This word of getting a reward, I feel it's not explaining it really. It should have said you already lost reward. You cancelled your reward. Immediately you gave, gave, and then blown a trumpet for yourself. That deleted your name from the list of they that have to receive a reward. But they don't feel anything to ask why. But they're saying the heaven is just, they cannot receive here and also receive in heaven. They have gotten their honor and people have praised them and that is what they want. You have gotten your reward. There are people that already got their reward. And when we talk about them, they are still expecting them. But okay. God knows it all. But I want us in the remaining time as we walk with the Lord that we remind ourselves of the things that could help. Motives, evil motives. That could spoil our rewards, and one of them is the evil motives. Evil motives. You will read from verse 5. The very chapter 6 of Matthew. And they will show you even the people that pray and want to be praised by others. Oh, my brother, you can pray. They are not praising you because they have seen you, but within your heart you've contributed to it in the way you did it, that you wanted them to speak about you. And then the devil is there and they talk about you. And then the heaven ascetic, that one, they've gotten their reward. That is why the Bible says, when you think of prayer, close yourself in the room. That nobody sees you. He that gives the reward is going to give the reward in public. 
judgment seat on the judgment seat it is going to be seen by everyone you will know they that have received and they that have not you will know they that have gotten crowns and they that have known what I'm still researching about is if there are people that will feel bad. Sometimes as I, as I think about it, I'm tempted to think, okay, maybe they'll not feel bad for they'll be in eternal life. But behind, some time back, the Holy Spirit reminded me and told me, do you know that people in hell are crying? Why are they crying? He told me they went with their soul. They still have their feelings. Yes, they are crying. And I'm still researching about it. I wouldn't really want to think about it that someone will be envious of the other. Praise the Lord. In your free time, you read Matthew 6. Concerning the issue of fasting, praying, and giving. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I didn't come to scare you. I came that we share. Praise the Lord. I'm going to start a journey. But even when I don't finish it today, I will continue adding there of showing some of the rewards that God talked about in His Word. We are going to start with the seven episodes in. Uh, in Revelation. Because he promised something unto every church. He promised something unto every church. Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3. When I start with the second chapter, verse 1 all the way to verse 7. church. You will find the loveless church. A church that lost their first love. But it has also done certain works. And this church was in Ephesus. Read me verse 2. And go all the way to verse 5. Mm. Ntimani ebi koro abio, no kufuba kwa, Bambi. no kugumekiri zako, mm. eranga to yinza kugumekiri zababi, era wabakema abe yita abatume, songa sivo, era wabalaba ngabali imba, mm. era yino kugumekiri zako, mm. era wabuma oweri nyali yangu, mm. soto wakowa, na yeni nensonga kubwe, mm. kubanga wale kokuwa galako o koro benebedi, kare jukira je wakwa. Wenye, ukolenge hivi korwa, hivi yorubele berie. Mm. Bota li kola buotio, njija joli, era njija wetabaza yo, mojifocha yo, bota li enenya. Mm -hmm. Na yechi no choli na, mm. kubanga ochawa hivi korwa, hivi yaba nikola iti, na ange vye nchawa. Mm. Alino kutu, awuliro moyo chagami kanisa. Gwena wangula na kule lachi. Awangula, mm. ndi muo kulia mm. kumutio gobula mu, mm. oguli wakati, mulusukuru wakatonda. Kama kuwa mkisa. God bless you. So the first reward we should expect is the tree of life. Engulest. The first reward to expect is the tree of life. Chaino kusoko kusubida kwe kulia kumutio gobula mu. One of the things God has prepared as rewards to the saints. Echimu kukatonda vya tege soku wa abatukuvuve. Which came out vividly in the first church, the church of Ephesus. Eranga chino chajia tuchisema kodda la kukanise ni ya Ephesus. It's called the tree of life. Gwe muti o gobula mu. Now, of course, they are different short of the love, the first love. We wao bali bafiri duwa kwa gara kwa buo kwa soka. By the way, I felt so bad for this church. Uh, the city of Ephesus was located in a, what is a, now known as Turkey. Uh, people call it Asia Minor. Asia Minor. 
Turkey, that's where we had the Ephesus. Now Turkey is predominantly known to be Muslim dominated. It is said that where there was this city, Ephesus, where great works of God were, were, were done. Even during the times of Apostle Paul, times of Timothy. Ephesus is no more. Yes, Ephesus is no more. Ephesus, and there is no single Christian to death. Of course, there are several other churches in the whole Turkey. So I'm talking about this small city. But are there, there, there are scarcely some Christians in other churches. But this particular one of Ephesus, if you happen to read about them, there is no single Christian. Now, somewhere the Bible say wound them that I will come and, and, and take away your, 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 lamp, your lamp stand. That's verse 5. Remember therefore from where you have fallen, repent and do the first works or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. Now, removing the lampstand remove, means removing the church. In every location where there is a church, a church is viewed as a lamp. It is a source of the light. And the light is Christ Jesus. So removing the lampstand is, is, is removing this church. And indeed it came to pass that the church was removed. But don't forget that verse 5. There was an opportunity of repenting. He told them, oh else. This will happen unless you repent. A couple of days ago, I, I perceived the importance of reteaching the doctrine of repentance. Because repentance decides where you, whether you are in hell or in heaven. Now, you repent where you are in hell or in heaven. Repentance can, can, can redirect you. Just at the time of going to hell, you find yourself in heaven. Failure of repenting will make one to find himself in hell who should have been a member of the kingdom. But I know the current church. If I stood here and said today, we are going to share about repentance. You feel bored right away. So what do you mean? Repentance? It decides where you are going to be. Anyway, they fail to repent. Turkey is 99.8% Muslim. 99.8% You can do research. With all the works of Apostle Paul, of Timothy, of those, all those guys. So Christians take part of the 0.2. 0.2. Mm. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. Now, the beauty, the Lord always forewarns. I have come to believe through my study as the Lord gives me grace. No single person right from Adam to Adam, the very last person at the time of, of, of ending this world will ever find himself in hell and feels God is unfair. At that time, the spirit of this person will bear witness how much God labored to have him out of hell. Mm, they will know. You may have doubts now, but after moving this body, you will know everything clear and plainly. So I want you to please. Anyway, did, did the church of Ephesus comprehend what this reward means, the tree of life? 
In a canisa of a face, so that I chief for me to reserve what it is a good thing. What the man was talking about. But to get on such a journey, Yava Gambaco. Of course, Mujukira Menati, Mulberry Sula Yoksat, Jaguaraco. You may all remember that in Genesis at the end of chapter three. In the garden was the tree of knowledge and understanding and the tree of life. And he told Adam and Eve, do not dare touch the tree of knowing good and evil. The tree of life, that one you may eat of. The Bible says they ate of the tree of knowing good and evil. And God said, now man is becoming like one of us. Let us not permit him to eat of the tree of life. Do you understand that? The tree of life had the ability to give you life even having sinned. It had the ability to let you live forever even having fallen short of his goal. Because everyone that eats thereof has to be living. The Bible says he put seraphims having cast out man to guard the tree of life. And he also put a shining sword chichuka, chichuka, chichuka. that turns from side to side. And should you dare go there, it just destroys you. And he says in Revelation, blessed are they that will be allowed to go back and eat of the tree of life. They will be blessed. Blessed are they that will be permitted to eat of the tree of life. That is Revelation 22, 14. Now I ask myself, did the church in Ephesus understand this? Did they know the weight of the tree of life? Had they asked Adam and he told them I was cast out. Imagine being cast out. Go. Off. Go out. And then you go with everything of yours. Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. They have been cast out. But the master is promising the ones that should you stand. What I've cast this out of, I am preparing for you. I am preparing it for you, this tree of life. You should have given Jesus a hand clap. The church in Ephesus didn't understand this. I don't know if the church today understands it. That even today, it is surrounded and guarded. But we'll be given access having overcome. This is the first reward to the seven churches. Even if these children of God fall short, Raise your right hand and say, Lord Jesus, help me and help me overcome. Help me to overcome and help me to inherit that that you prepared for me in the name of Jesus. The second church we have seen the first reward for the first church being the tree of life. The second church will bring the issue of the crowns. The issue of the crowns. Crowns are some of the rewards. Read for me verse 10. Before you read, this was the church in Simna. Uh, we call it the church that was persecuted read me verse 10 and I'll give you the crown of life. So, living aside the tree of life, there is a reward called a crown, and it is a crown of life. 
Let me quickly give you the five types of crowns. The five categories of crowns. The first one is the crown of life. The crown of life, yes. This crown is going to be given to the people that have endured the, pers uh, the persecution. Uh, persecution of, of, of trials. All the trials. Of course, there are people who are going to experience death. And so many of them have already died for, because of righteousness. And there are those who won't necessarily reach the level of death. So whether you have been killed for holiness, for righteousness, or not killed, but at least you have persevered through trials, the crown of life is one of the rewards that our King Jesus has prepared for you. Yes, the crown of life. It is also found in James 1.12. James 1.12. It's labeled the crown of life. As she gets that verse, 112 James, uh, sometimes they call it the matter's crown. Sometimes it's called the matter's crown. Because of the element that several people actually through this crown will have died because of righteousness. There are many people in the Bible who died because of this. James, one of the apostles, John the Baptist, several many others. Can you read uh, James 1 12? Mm. 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 Yeah, but whoever has persevered the trials, the Spirit of God also revealed, revealed to James uh, in James 1.12 that he would also get this very crown, the crown of life. So that's crown of life. The second crown is called the crown of glory. The crown of glory. This is reserved to to, to clergy, to ministers of God. But of course, it also has conditions. Help me read First Peter uh, chapter 5. Read verse 5. Maybe just read verse 4 because of time, but whoever reading, reading you will begin from verse 1 to verse 4. Some is projecting the, the screen, the, 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 the verse. Um, and when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor. Okay, you read in Uganda. Mm. Yeah, now of course I may skip the other verses, but uh, they, they hold the conditions anyway. And if you miss out on the conditions, then you are missing out a lot. Can you give me verse 2? Verse 2. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Now this is, okay. So sirwa kwe gomba, ama goba mubukusa, na ye ruwa moyo. Now this is to people who are serving God. The crown of glory. They are powerful statements they are in. In the first four verses. If you don't want to count it to loss at the judgment day because of your ministration. You need to revisit these, these things here. He's saying this thing is off and on. Okay, I will let you mind. Um, Flock, uh, shepherd the flock of God which is among you serving as overseer. Listen, not by comparison, but willingly. You need to be doing it willingly, not being compelled. Number two, not for dishonest gain, but eagerly. That's, that's part of verse two. 
dishonest amagoba of course there is it's okay to have the right gain chirunjo kufuna amagoba amalungi but there's what to call honest gain and dishonest gain nayate wali wa magoba amalungi naga gatali malungi so if i serve good and i get i earn through the rightful channel there is no problem but if I twist the gospel of the Lord or do anything else but to earn what I should not have earned it becomes a dishonest gain now dishonest gain is one of the things that will make many servants of God to lose out on this reward as you say said in Matthew 6, he will tell them you, have, you already had your, your, your reward. And Ethan says, no as being lords over those entrusted to you. But, but being examples of the flock. You should not make yourself a lord over. To be fuller, mwami wabi, oba wabo, be what it is, but toko sabuinza na buiza bunji, na fuga, toko langaba in si, abensi bala go buiza wabi. Munyumba yamu kama, ah ah, atomu kulembeze ye mudu. In the house of the Lord, the leader is the servant. Bino, bela okwete geza, bonabe sunga, edaba wereza. This is for all those that are looking forward, especially the ministers that are looking the, the, the forward glory. to getting the crown of glory. Praise the Lord. The second yes. one is that crown of glory that we talked about. And the other category of people like the intercessors, the ones that sponsor and help the men of God, where do they get the name? That is Matthew 10, 41. When someone will come the prophet, they share in the reward of the prophet. Here they talked of receiving the prophet. But it also entails supporting the prophet. It also entails interceding for the prophet or the pastor or the whole ministry. Matthew 10, 41, if you're there, you could read. Mm. Yokana te yakolera te yakola kabonero na yebyo na yokanda byeyogera kuono byali bya mazima Oli ku matayo 10 ana mwe Matthew 10 verse 41 Yes Matthew 10 Okay Kale soma na mubiri and whoever gives one of these little ones only a cup of cold water in the name of the disciple Assuredly, I said to you, he shall by no means lose his reward. Uh, verse 41, he who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive the prophet's reward. Now that, that statement, receiving a prophet, can imply lots of things, supporting financially, praying for the servant of God, or any other way. Some in the Bible could even build for them accommodation. As a man of God passes by, you know, uh, takes, I mean, rests somewhere. So all that is part of uh, this will coming. Now you will share, you take, you will be a partaker of the prophet's reward. But if you don't share the reward, you will be a partaker of the prophet's reward. Has somebody got that? But this servant of God must be a rightful servant. Now, if you relate with the, a false prophet and support a false prophet, there's, there's a word for you here. Matthew 7 15. If you relate with a false prophet, Mwekume ba nabi abo boli imba. Haba jira mubi ambalo ebi endiga jemoli. Na ya muunda jemi stegeji sikula. Muli bate gerira kubibara abi abwe. Haba antu bano gabatia ezabibu kubusara. I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. It should be 2 John chapter 1 verse 9. Pardon me. 
Yohane cho kubiri. Yes. Second John uh, chapter 1 verse 9. Yohane cho kubiri sole soko lunyirirwa mwenda. Now there's some warning there if you collaborate with a false prophet or somebody who's not rightfully serving God. Second John uh, 9 to 11. Of course it's one chapter. Whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. Verse 10, if anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, uh -huh. Do not receive him into your house, nor greet him. For he who greets him shares in his evil deeds. If you collaborate with a false prophet, you are sharing in his evil deeds. Just like when you collaborate with the rightful man of God, you, part, you partake of the same reward, but the other way around, you share in the deeds of this. So there are lots of other people who get, uh, find themselves within the, 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 the crown of the servant of God. On Wednesday lunch hour, I'll, I'll carry on with the message. Two crowns. The crown of life, which is given people who persevere trials. Then the crown of glory, God bless you, for, 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 for the ministers of God. Where we shall find there's also a crown for, 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 for the evangelists. Only for those who evangelize. Just you have brought people to the Lord. I will give you many more. As the Lord will permit and the time will permit on Wednesday lunch hour. May the Lord richly bless you. Let me make just a prayer. Father, the name of Jesus. Thank you for the grace. How I pray that those people who are following and these who are here as we follow through Father King of God this message let it find its roots within our inner man this is knowledge that will make someone to be stronger to overcome any kind of temptation let us know all these things much earlier that we may prepare ourselves adequately for your coming. Bless your children in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. Let's welcome our dear pastor. Get on your feet. Get on your feet. A round of applause. As we come up, Pastor. Let us give the mighty hand up unto the Lord. For that ministry, for that ministration. Our hands towards Pastor Carolina. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you with thanksgiving for Pastor Karugaba Edward and a message to us through him. As a church, we speak a blessing unto him and his family that you continue to hide him in you and perfect him in all matters. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's there anyone who has been blessed? Let us give all the glory to the Lord. It is good also to get such messages that make us behold where we are heading. And they remind us 
the rewards that we are going to get. Now we are still in the flesh. We can still continue to work. And then we work for our rewards. I've ever worked in one organization. But when that day of award has come, People are always waiting for that day anxiously. For them, they could always notify us that you have an award. People come and sit in their positions. But there are those whom they read for citations and they say for because you did this and this and this we have awarded this kind of person this kind of award and then they go at the front and they get a handshake or what but in the heavens it's going to be more when they read out our names. It is good when you did out certain things. Each time we get such a message, it is encouraging you to continue to work. Praise the Lord. As you work for your reward. Thank you so much, Pastor Edward. Praise be to the Lord. Even if we just sing out a few choruses. And each one of us, you pray for yourself. That God may grant you the grace in your time of being in the flesh. That you may use it, use it very well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Lord, I ask and I pray that we among those who shall be entering. 
Jerusalem. Into Jerusalem. But you must have worked on the things when you're still here on the earth. The qualifications that you must have accepted Jesus Christ to be your Savior. As the Holy Ones will be entering, you too will be entering. Praise the Lord. There will be a lot of tears on the entrance. Especially unto those who were in, didn't get concerned Yesu. to accept Jesus to Kwanda be their Savior. Wali. Because they will be cast away from there. And there will be no things or retake that you come back to the earth and you accept him. The moment you fail on that day, you'll have totally failed out. So in case you don't yet say whether over the radio, online, or here, put right the things. Amen. Amen. Let us clap for the Lord. The sermon is done. And let me begin from there. Is there anyone who wants to give their life to Jesus? You just lift up your hand and your names get to greet in the book of life and you also gave a card to usher you into heaven. But could be your online over the radio service one. Say, oh Jesus, today I have decided to get born again. I repent of my sins. I ask you to wash me with your blood. Come into my life and be my savior. I confess today that I am born again. Amen. Father, we bless you for all those people who have accepted Jesus to be their Savior. Wherever they are in the world, we ask you to fill them with your Holy Spirit and grant them the strength to move with Jesus. That, that may be among the saints who will enter as the saints will be entering. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we can know services are physically not going to be weekly services. So this week our weekly services are going to be as usual. But now get to focus it down. Come and get cancer. We are mobile. New. If we have an hour. We always repeat them because each time the church gets new people. Someone would say, why do they repeat those programs all the time? The church gets new people every day. And even those who join us online are always many. Could be someone who was tuning over their radio and then they find themselves at 107.5. That is why we always repeat these programs. So we cannot on a morning glory. And this week we shall have our morning glory session from 6 a.m. up to around 7.30 a.m. But on Tuesday we go up to 8 a.m. in the eternal life program. And we shall have our lunch hour session. And we shall have our midweek service also on Wednesday in the evening. And also the altar of prayer on Thursday evening. And this Friday is the fourth Friday in the month. We shall have a training for ministers. And after that training, the overnight will commence on 
Monday, on Monday, the intercessors are here. And on Tuesday, we shall have the deliverance so service. All of them start at 9 a.m. Up to around 4 p.m. Do not forget, on Mondays, we gather in our family units in the evening from around 6 p.m. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On November 10th, we are going to have a day and night of unceasing prayer. We are going to have a and uh, our theme will be fortifying our strongholds. From the book of Nahum 314. One time it came to my heart. That we should have a mom a day before the Lord. A day of unceasing prayer, a day of prayer. Before we go into the inauguration and going into the new church, we are going to take some time before the Lord. The times when you pray and you are praying defensively. Praise the Lord. When you are praying So we invite the church. Everyone will be able to join where they can and they can live when they want to live. But as the organizing team, we will be able to have teams that will be able to cover. To hold that prayer chain and to hold that prayer chain. Initially, we thought we would do it in watches. Uh, but I think it would be like too hourly. We can have someone lead us, share a brief word, take us through. There will be some short worship or praise, but also more prayer. We'll be able to connect all those hours during the day. And if the people have come in the day shift, they will be off, and the people in the night shift will come. So that day when we begin the morning glory on that Friday. We shall not cease. The altar will keep on from the day and also throughout the night. We have trusted the Holy Spirit to uphold us. Hallelujah. 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 That day will be a Friday. If you are a worker, you can pray from that at your place of work, and then in the evening you can come. But if you can make it during day, you can come and we use that day. 24 hour and seizing prayer day. Amen. Amen. We shall continue to let you know more about that. And after resting that aside, at this time, permit me to welcome someone from Team to Zimbe to come and give us today's update. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Bishop. And the pastoral team. And the pastoral team. For permitting us to minister with you. And we also thank all of you. 
who have given in for the sake of Tuzimbe. The time we are remaining with is very little. As the Tuzimbe committee, meetings is a fezvera o kumpi o na we zagali de. Almost our meetings can happen on any time. O kumekinga shuwa anti buli chimu chitambula burungi. To make sure that everything moves on smoothly. Na kuzino ngira bugi zinenga katiwa ro tutule. These days I just come up abruptly and I say, today let us have a meeting. In case I see there is something that is needed. But most importantly, we thank you. You that have given us your money. And the money you've given us is the one that has done all that that you can see. Only that in the, these days our pocket is, isn't so warm. And yet we are remaining with three weeks. And yet the works to work on are still remaining. I think those who pass this side, maybe you saw the work, and even those who haven't kindly passed by there. In case you pass through this side, kindly pass by this side and see what is going on. As we speak now, by this week, the terrazzo will be done on the whole of the inside. Because the road still, as we speak now, by Wednesday, if we get all the resources, it will also be done. On that road, we've so far paid 20 million, and it was part of the money that we got from the concert. And we are still remain with around 21 million. We embarked on it. The work is progressing, the road, and also the entire compound. We thank you, our whites. The doors and all the windows are all covered. As we speak now, some of the doors are already on the ground. But even the ones that aren't yet here, we've been told by Wednesday they will be done and they will be delivered. Now the other task that we have, we have we are able to put up the perimeter wall that separates we us from these We are going to buy that side also. But still, even that the fence but is gone. We also want to pave the whole of that place. Such that that road also makes us rich. We have already selected the colors we are going to use for painting yesterday in the meeting that we had. We would think that at least if we get 15 or 20 millions, the one, the one for painting will be the work tomorrow. But I think we have eight, eight. We have 8 millions out of the 15 millions needed. If you only help us between today and Thursday and you bring out some money, by the time you come back on Sunday, the work will be different. Whatever you have gotten, even if it is a thousand shillings. I can't I can't 
that if all of us only bring 10,000 shillings per person, it is enough for us to give them with a painting. Those will be around 40 million and it is what we need. At least basing on the church register, we are around 4,000 people. So even if you say, let me just give in 10,000 till the other, the paint is already done. That is how we are going to do great things when we haven't been constrained and we've worked as a team. Thank you so very much, friends. The committee is planning to make sure everything is done at its set time. Remember still it is the Tuzimbe committee that is managing the inauguration. Therefore the pressure is a bit higher. Therefore I beseech you my friends that we must enter it on the 18th and for us we are not entering it when it is not finished but we are entering it when it is finished we are entering it when it is finished in the name of Jesus therefore friends let us work together let us work together as a team the mountain that we have is like in three kinds. One is for electricity to put the lights wherever we promised to install them. That one is a bit later. But the one for the paint, it is a lot. And then yet we are remaining with only three weeks. In case someone comes out and says, I'm giving you all this money, by the time you come back on Sunday, all the painting work will be done. But still we can handle it slowly. I pray the Lord may bless you this week. This one has brought her 10,000. May the Lord bless you. And let's all be people of action. It says something that has begun on it. Thank you very much, May the Lord bless you. Thank you very much, let us clap for Tim to Zimbe. Thank you so very much for following and also for always encouraging us. And even as a church, let us clap for ourselves. One thing I've seen, people really love to give in for Tuzimbe. Let me permit whoever has anything for Tuzimbe, kindly bring it forward. Walk come and put it in for the ongoing works that are on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As that is going on, on the 18th November, of November, we are going to be entering the house of the Lord. We can no longer change that date. We have already marked it out. And we have already issued out the cards. But we have very great hope. Because we see the work that the Lord is doing. The work is progressing at a good speed. As so much read about that road, but this week I saw the mountain was no longer there. It had been leveled. Even that paint, the Lord will level it. The Lord is full of authority. Even if 
This that you have done is also very prophetic for you to stand up. To come and put our efforts together. I pray that the Lord will so much bless you. Now each person as the Lord will enable you in these days. And even our friends online, may we put for them the contacts for Tuzimbe. That this work that has begun in this third service, that it can move on. And we believe the Lord is going to enable us to finish this work. And in a glorious way. On that day, on the 18th of November, we shall have uh, around four items. And one of them will be entering that house officially. Another one is the ceremony of inauguration. Another one will be a ceremony of giving thanks. And another one is we are going to eat together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I mentioned in one of the services that we are not going to eat popcorn. God, how can God build for us a house like that? And then we eat popcorns for lunch. Ah. No. So together. Therefore, we shall still see how we are going to handle those matters. And we make for us a celebration that is worthy. I believe the Lord is going to enable us. And we shall be informing you about those matters as time goes by. Now let us finish painting that temple and it gets done. I know even the admin will come back and tell us about the, the issue of the celebration. All of you that have given in for Tuzimbe, may the Lord bless you. And in case you haven't built yet, may the Lord build for you. Or if you already build, maybe you wish to do a commercial building, may the Lord enable you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Aman Conference 2023. The preparations are ongoing for that conference. There is no any more questions. We are going to be in our new church auditorium. And we intend to have those who are going to be residing. All our visitors that will be coming from afar. Both adults and the children. The adults will need 40,000 shillings. And the children, 30,000 shillings. And even as the non residents, we shall be paying 20,000. All that helps us in the preparations. Some of the other issues, we shall continue to talk more about them after we've entered the new temple. Amen. Amen. We are going to get up on our feet and offering in the house of the Lord. In case you have any offering, be it a tithe or a first fruit or giving thanks, let us all get up on our feet. Those who came in with your pledges, maybe it was for the concert. It is good for you to go to the secretaries and you put right. And even our colleagues who are online. In case you've sent in your money to clear, endeavor to make sure that the records are put right in the books. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us give thanks. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you with appreciation for all the gracious things you have done. 
today. From the time we began in the 7 o'clock service up to this third service. Thank you for the word that has been preached and for everything you've written with your hand. As we appear before you with several offerings, we ask you, our God, that you open your treasuries, sir, beyond more than the way you've been doing for the needs that are in your house. This flock, may you bless it. And also the one online and the one over the radio. That even before we end this year, oh Lord, that whatever you purpose to do in our lives, and it was still far from us, I pray you bring it closer unto us. Your hand of provision, let it be stretched so much unto us to meet all our needs basing on the riches in Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus Amen 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 May the Lord be with you.